His eyes, they closed, and his last breath spoke. He had seen all to be seen, a life once full, now an empty vase, with the blossoms on his early grave. Walk away, me boy, walk away, me boy, and by morning we'll be free. Wipe the golden tear from your mother dear, and raise what's left of the flag for me. Hello. It's been like a week or so since my last post, and a lot of things have happened. And I told you that I would pick up from where I left off in the last one, which is basically when I got to Cork. Cork is a lot different than Dublin. <laughs> Dublin was really cool, as I said in the last one, uh, but in a lot of ways it just kind of reminded me of another city because it was really internationalized, really big, and... It's my phone. Ah, what was I saying? Uh, yeah, so it's a really big city, and it's just kind of like another city. It's really pretty and, you know, very cool to be there, and I would definitely recommend visiting, but I'm glad that I'm studying in Cork. Cork is smaller. Uh, still a big city uh, in Ireland terms, but definitely smaller. But I really like it more because it has, you know, definite suburban areas, uh, more town-ish areas, and the city itself is just not that big. You get into a city center and it's just like, it's like a taller version of Huntington Village, okay guys? The video thing at the beginning, that little intro, that ends up at where I'm living. It's about a 15 to 20 minute walk from campus. 15 now that I've been walking a lot. Everybody walks everywhere. And at first, if you know me, you know that made me very sad. <laughs> it's a 30 minute walk to class every day, just under. And I can get it down to like 23 from pushing it. But it, I mean, it's far and it's up a hill. The music building is not located where the rest of the campus is. It is across a different river. Uh, you go over a shaky bridge to get there. It, it's so pretty, the view from the music building. It overlooks city center and it's so nice so you know walking there at nine in the morning it's not so bad the only thing that really sucks about having to walk everywhere is that going out at night sometimes it's like i don't know it just seems like it's not at all worth it because you know that by the end of the night when you've got to go home you've got a 45 minute walk ahead of you and it's cold today and probably raining Kinda sucks. <laughs> Not to say that that stops you very often, but it's something to think about. The weather is nuts here. Normally I wouldn't remark about the weather, but I, I just like, I can't figure it out. No, literally just today, watched all this happen from my window while I was watching one episode of How I Met Your Brother. One, ready? It was fine outside, you know, kind of cloudy, not so bad. Absolutely pouring rain, totally fine, sun shining, everything. Completely dismal out and like, downpouring again. One episode of How I Met Your Mother, you guys, like what, 22 minutes? Come on, that's a little crazy. Basically, I'm in an early start program right now, which means that I'm taking one course at the moment. My class meets four days a week, and there are like six different classes that you could have chosen from. So mine is Musics in Ireland, so it covers traditional music and modern music, and, you know, everything in between. And we all get to go on field trips. All the different early start programs get to go on field trips. And our field trip was uh, one overnight. This region is known as the Schlieve-Lucre region. Maybe I can throw that up on the bottom right there because it does not look at all like it's pronounced like that. But yeah, Schlieve-Lucre, I think. Irish, you guys. It's a crazy language. Basically, this region is a really significant one as far as Irish traditional music is concerned. We traveled around the Schlieve-Lucre region basically to a lot of landmarks that a lot of the most famous musicians to come out of that region, you know, played at frequently, or there were a lot of memorials to them. It was definitely cool. And we stopped off uh, for lunch one day at this cultural center, and it basically had a lot of kids, I think they said they ranged in age from like 13 to 17, who are all studying the traditional music that was, you know, created in this region, and they all played for us and danced for us, and it was just really cool to see. So, uh, 
I'll be sure to put up a video of that. So we all get to go on a field trip and we all get to take a class, you know, most days a week. And in mine, we mostly just get lectures about, you know, music history, Irish music history, or contemporary Irish music. But we also do instrument workshops and dance workshops. So I do a little bit of dancing, not like river dance, but like traditional Irish group dances mostly. I played the boron a couple times. Again, maybe I'll throw that word up there. It's crazy language, you guys. I've also got this. It's a tin whistle. And I play this a little bit now, I guess you could say that. And I was toying around with the idea of playing it for you. But I promise you don't want to hear that, so I'm not gonna. Dealing with the uh, academic differences is definitely going to be an adjustment. They grade differently, the classes are different, like the way they're given timetables and everything. It's, it's just, it's going to be an adjustment. Basically, I guess the point of this blog is that, you know, living in a different country and, you know, going to school in a different country, very different, but, you know, it's still been really cool. The travel opportunity is really exciting, and this early start course has been pretty fun as of right now, especially because since it's an early start course and not just a regular course, you know, we're going to do all of those dance workshops and instrument workshops and going on those trips, and it's it's just been great, and the stuff I've seen so far... It's been awesome. I'm going to leave you with some pictures of Cork, even though I haven't actually taken that many pictures of Cork. It's one of those things where, you know, you're going to be here for a long time, so you don't make a priority of photographing it. But I've got some pictures of Cork, and I've also got pictures of our Slave Lucre field trip. So you'll see, you know, memorials to some really great uh, musicians from that region. All of that is between counties Cork and Kerry kind of weaves in and out of them and I've got some of the performances from that field trip from the kids at the cultural center doing traditional Irish music and I've also got a little bit from another pub session or I guess the last video I posted wasn't even a pub session so oh, this is cool first pub session video that I'll be posting spoiler alert I've got an international blog coming up